Hello everyone, welcome back to another art video. We're gonna be talking about four reasons why you should start painting. Painting like any art form. I hope this video inspires you to pick up the brush, pick up the pencil, pick up the clay, pick up the acrylics, whatever your form of art is. I hope it inspires you to spend more time creating and letting yourself be creative. Painting has been such a massively beneficial part of my life that I have let myself do. So I only hope that you guys can also experience all the benefits of taking up an art hobby as well. While we go over the four most important reasons why you should start painting, I'll be playing a time-lapse painting video of me painting my cat Tabby. She's a Bengal cat and I painted her in my little sketchbook. I hope you guys enjoy that. And without further ado, reason number one, self-care. If you are one of those people that has trouble finding time meditating and doing things that mean self-love and self-care, then this is literally maybe the only reason that you need to start painting. Painting and any other form of art and anything that requires your creativity is a form of meditation. So if you can't seem to find time or understand how meditation works, then painting is for you. You can catch up on all your audiobooks while you paint and catch up on all your favorite podcasts. This is such a prime time to just get into the zone and spend your hours on end reading or listening to your audiobooks and podcasts while you paint away or whatever that you choose to do. And what happens when you are in complete meditative state? You find yourself in the zone and in the zone I mean in your flow state. When things become timeless when you forget that everything else exists you're fully in the zone and that's when all your ideas and inspiration comes to life so painting acts as a form of self-love and self-care and it acts as a form of meditation and once you're really into your painting and into the zone you can really tap into the divine and tap into your higher self and that's when a lot of your inspiration can come through. So in another sense, it's also a fantastic way to unwind. Just the first reason I'm trying to get at you guys is that it's just such a fantastic way to rejuvenate and to rest and to let yourself be lost in this dimension and be lost in the space and time and just let yourself go in terms of the realm of creativity and being in your zone and forgetting about everything else that's going on in your life and letting yourself absorb other information as well if you choose to you don't have to when i paint i like to put on a ton of audiobooks a ton of documentaries and podcasts and so i'm soaking up a lot of material as well on top of that i'm in my meditative state in my flow state in my zone so i find a lot of my ideas inspirations and creativity comes from the act of painting the act of painting alone to me is just such an incredibly rewarding thing to do as well so that brings me to my next reason number two it can ease your anxiety and depression coming from someone that has been through depression and recovered and then back into depression and recovered over and over again i find that tapping into the creative space which what which is what painting fully does when you allow yourself to dive into that creative zone and creative zone Zen and that flow state of tapping into your crown chakra and aligning yourself to that divine flow, you are allowing your body to release dopamine into your body and those are your happy chemicals. And anxiety is such a massive 
thing that a lot of people suffer from these days as well as depression because I for one have gone through these episodes over and over again myself so I fully understand what it's like living with these um, mental, I don't want to say mental disorder because it's not a flaw, it's just a part of your experience and it's not like it's a bad thing it's just simply a part of your existence and in this universe there's no such thing as bad or good it just simply is and so anxiety is something that just is in your experience I feel like I'm going a little bit off tangent, but what I'm trying to say is that by tapping into your creativity and letting yourself just be lost in time by painting, it eases your anxiety, it eases your depression. I find a lot of the time, if not most of the time, if not all of the time is what I'm trying to say. When I'm coming to the end of a painting, I find myself feeling so filled with joy and filled with excitement and filled with happiness because I don't know, I'm not a scientist, so I don't know what really happens chemically fully. I just know that a lot of the time I feel completely uplifted emotionally, spiritually, and physically. So there's definitely a lot of dopamine that comes into your system by allowing yourself to be creative. Number three, life is a lot more vibrant. It expands your perception of life. It expands the way of viewing life, the colors, all the different colors. As you begin to get into the world of painting and understand colors in a more in-depth way, you'll begin to see that there's so many different colors even in the color gray there's sometimes more yellow in gray more blue in gray there's green in gray that i know for some of you guys that might not make any sense but there are so many colors within the colors and as you begin to paint your subjects or objects or environments you'll also understand forms a lot better so that in itself makes you see life in such a different light because you are seeing the forms you're seeing the colors and you're seeing all those details because as a painter you need to create recreate all those details again onto your canvas or onto your paper you are paying attention to all the little different intricacies of the plant of the animal of the environment um, and you have to understand it yourself for your for your hands to be able to translate that onto paper when you look at a palm tree there are so many different kinds of greens it's not just a flat green there's dark green light green mid-tone greens and there's lighter tone greens and there's yellowy greens and then there's those yellows on the tips of the palm trees so you'll be able to see life in such such an expanded way and you'll be able to see life in a different pers perspective number four you'll feel totally free i know some of you guys don't really care um, about feeling free maybe but coming as a sagittarius my sun sign is a sagittarius so freedom and the freedom to express myself especially is so important and it's so healthy too to be able to freely express yourself you don't even need to be a sagittarius zodiac signs aside as a human being fully expressing yourself and being free to do so is so powerful and so necessary for your mental health for your physical health and for your spiritual health to be able to fully express yourself in all of the ways possible is the one of probably the reasons why you've incarnated as a human being so this is your time to shine this is your time to fully let your version of expression come out so what i mean by that in full expression and being completely free when you allow yourself to paint is because you can paint literally anything you want if you want to paint a unicorn with a dragon's tail you paint that unicorn with a dragon's tail if you want to just create beautiful drippy donuts and 
paint that and recreate that on canvas you can it's just whatever you have in your mind in your soul and in your emotions that you want to just let out painting is a fantastic way for you to express that and i have done that so many times in my life through painting where i expressed my inner darkest moments and let that out onto canvas and those are one of my greatest paintings is when i am going through something emotional and that's where i need to release and bring it out from inside into the outside so that you can fully process what you're going through and not just holding it in so to recap the four reasons why you should start painting number one it's a form of meditation it is so healthy for your mental and, and physical and spiritual well-being you go into this flow this zone this connection to the universe where you're able to find new ideas inspiration while you're doing so and just it's such a great way to unwind and number two it makes you a happier person because allowing yourself to be creative releases dopamine into your body and so it can and it will ease your anxiety and depression if that's something that you might be experiencing in your life number three life is so much more vibrant you'll notice all the different colors all the different forms and all the different little details that you might have missed before you started painting because as a painter you'll need to notice these small details notice how the shadow is under the object and how the light is hitting the object as well so all these different things you'll learn along the way and have a newfound appreciation for life itself number four feeling totally free to express yourself in however which way you want to express yourself you can paint and draw whatever you want under the sun and beyond that when you are an artist, when you are a painter, you can create anything you could possibly imagine, literally. So it's so healthy for your well-being. The act of painting allows you to experience life with no limitations. So I hope you guys found this video helpful, insightful, inspiring, and thoughtful. If you guys have any questions about painting and what it's like to start, do leave a comment down below and if you want to continue being a part of this art community you know what to do have an amazing rest of your day stay blessed stay inspired and i'll see you in another video